Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. I just thought I'd show you uh, uh, a couple of useful features that I was unaware of until yesterday on the 857. Now, one of them is the uh, SSB step. So if you look at that, it's at 7103, 104, 105, 106. So they're 1 kHz increments. Now, if I go to 20 meters, I've turned the blooming knob now, but um, if I go to 20 meters, wrong way, and you'll see the step size is 2.5 kilohertz. So you can have different step sizes on that, uh, I'm turning that, that little knob there, different step sizes for different HF bands. You can set them, uh, you can step, you can set the step size individually for each HF band. And I thought that was really quite useful. So I think what I'll do is just while I'm here, I'll just change that step size to one kilohertz by pressing the function key. And then I rotate the dial, the main dial, to one kilohertz. And then I'll set that like that. Okay, so now when I adjust that, you can see that's changing in one kilohertz steps, just like it does on 40 meters. And another very interesting. Uh, uh, feature, I think, is, well, there's, there's two more that I'll show you that I think are very useful. And one is the dial lock. So I'm just going to the menu and go down to the lock feature. There we go. Lock mode. So we've got dial, which means that it will just lock this big dial here all so it will lock everything so if, once you press the lock key which is just on the side there little lock key i think it's the bottom one there next to the big dial so you can have it lock locking all you can lock the panel the frequency there's a number of items that you can select to lock so if you say yes okay just lock the dial and then go to the function key Now, I'll just tune, just tune the dial there, like that. That's the big, uh, the big dial knob there that I'm tuning. Now if I press the lock key, which is just on the side here, I think that's the lock key, and then turn the big knob, turn the big knob, like that, it's locked. But I can still tune it in my one kilohertz steps that I've set from here. So in a car, you know, if you're in a mobile situation, you can press, the, you can set that just to lock the dial. You can press the lock button. The big dial will remain locked. So if you nudge it while you're driving along or whatever, um, there's no problem at all. And if you want to have a tune around, if you set it to one kilohertz steps, you're not going to miss anything. So I think that is a very useful feature. And uh, another useful feature is this button on top here. This third one, can you see I'm covering that orange light with my finger? If you press that, now if you have a look at the, um, the menu items under the frequency display there, the MW, skip and tag, if I press that, it goes straight to the, um, the, uh, the noise reduction features. So that's a very, very quick way without going through, you know, without pressing without pressing this momentarily and changing that and then rotating this around to get the menus. If you want to get to the noise reduction uh, feature, you can just press that key on the top there. So that's it normally. And uh, if you just press that key because you want to adjust the, um, uh, the noise reduction, uh, you want to turn on the dynamic noise reduction or um, the dynamic noise filter or uh, whatever DBF stands for, 
then uh, all you've got to do is press that button, it will take you straight to that set of menu items, just by pressing that button there. So there we go, I think that's, uh, that's, that's a couple of, or, or three, interesting features that uh, I was completely unaware of on the 857 until my recent, uh, um, uh, I recently had the, uh, the radio installed in the four-wheel drive and my colleague said, oh, do you know it can do this? I said, no. He said, do you know it can do that? I said, well, no. And he said, it can also do this. And I went, wow, I reckon that's worth a video because most people are like me. They'll get the radio out of the box, throw the instructions in the bin and uh, just fumble through the menus, set it up and use it without knowing that it's got those really useful features. So you've got the button on the top that will take you straight to the, uh, uh, the noise reduction features. You can lock the dial or you can lock all or anything. And so just having the dial locked I think is very useful. Uh, being able to just lock the dial with the, uh, the lock button on the side um, if you're mobile. And uh, having the one kilohertz tuning steps on HF. And of course being able to have different tuning steps for each HF band should you so desire. I reckon that's blooming marvellous. I mean I've always been a fan of the 857. I think it's a great little radio. And... Um, I think it's even better now I know it does that. I hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.